Hey, what's happening? Paul Ingram here with Collie Center, and today I've got five essential stick fighting tactics, techniques that you need to know. All right, so uh, let's get right to the training, get these to you so you can start training them right now, right away, today. All right, the first tactic is the fluid slash. All right, we're going to strike all the way through. So I'm gonna give you a simple drill here. We're gonna go one and two, down and X, horizontal, and then a vertical right there. So one, two, three, four, and then a vertical right there. It's all what we call fluid strikes, fluid slashes, or sometimes in some styles they call them lock ticks, meaning we're going all the way through the center line. So let's work these five basics right here Diagonal, diagonal, horizontal, horizontal, and that vertical strike right there. All right, tactic number two. We're gonna take a look at what we call broken strikes or broken slashes. Some places, some styles will call this a wateek. Basically, we're gonna strike out to the center line and then quickly snap it back. Let's take a look at what the drill we have. We got broken right here on the one. We got a broken two right there on the diagonal. And we can go broken on the vertical. So let's go broken, broken, broken right there. Broken, 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 broken. All right, five strikes. Broken one right there. Broken one, pull it back. Broken two, a broken two again, pull it up. Bang, smash them with that broken vertical. All right, tactic tatlo is the wateek, or some places call this the abanico. Depends on what style, what system that you're training. They'll use different terminologies, but it's the same thing, all right? Let's take a look at it. We have four basics. We come up on top, right here. We come down on the bottom, right here. All right, we come out to the side, and then we come flat. So we got two wateeks right here up on top, two wateeks right down here, down low, come down on the vertical, then we got that flat horizontal. So horizontal, 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 vertical, pop that flat horizontal. All right, so basically what you're doing on this one is you're gonna flick the stick. You're flicking it over and you're hitting with that top edge, top corner of the stick. Doesn't look like it has a lot of power, but it does. And when it makes contact to the target, it just splits things open. A pot. All right, number four right here. We have the Floretti Slashes, one of my favorite ones. From here, we're gonna circular slash twice. A Floretti is two slashes, all right? Two slashes into one motion. All right, so we're gonna flip it over, slash, 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 right there. You can also do this coming upwards as well. All right, my friend, number five, the fifth essential stick fighting tactic that you need to know it's simple, it's a thrust. All right, from here, we're gonna thrust. We got all the way through thrust. We got the quick little jabbing thrust, like a broken strike. All right, we're gonna work this out. Just start thrusting, you could thrust the puño end as well. All right, I'm gonna count that as thrust in this one. Just thrust that puño end or thrust the main end. Bop, all the way through, or just start jabbing them out. All right, once you've got all five of these down, you got the fluids, you got the brokens, you got the wateeks right here, you got the florettis, and you got the thrust. Let's put them all together into one flow, creating our Carenza.
right there you've got it. Five, what I believe to be the top essential Kali single stick fighting tactics and techniques. Make sure you train them all individually, then work on putting them together to start creating that Carenza flow. And then uh, if you really want to get creative, start trying to figure out your own combinations that you can work with these five essentials. All right, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Which ones of these five essentials are your favorite and what would you add to the list to make your stick fighting game even better? If you haven't already, make sure to hit subscribe. Hang out with me over on Instagram at Collie Center. Check out CollieCenter.com and keep on training every day, my friend, and most importantly, have fun. Number one, first strip right here is I'm gonna train and I'll use the floor. And in reality, we can use the butt or we can use the weapon. So you can use the stick in training as well, just place it. And you basically just rip it right out of his game. This is one of the most functional, effective disarms ever, ever worked.